In the night of February 27th to the 28th, 1933, the German Reichstag building in Berlin was on fire. The fire was caused by arson and the communist Marinus van der Luppe was arrested for this crime. Why was this event so important for the implementation of the dictatorship in Germany? In this episode of German History with a German Accent, I'm speaking about the Reichstag fire and the following Reichstag fire decree or the Reichstagsbrandverordnung in German. After Adolf Hitler had been named the German Reich Chancellor on January 30th, 1933, he had convinced the Reich's president, Paul von Hindenburg, to dissolve the parliament and set up new elections. Those were to take place on March 5th, 1933. While running the campaign, the National Socialists spread the message that Germany was under the immediate threat of a communist revolution and claimed that voting for the NSDAP would be the only way to stop the communists. About a week before the election, on the evening of February 27th, a fire in the German Reichstag broke out. The fire was mostly extinguished shortly after midnight. Hitler, Josef Goebbels and Hermann Göring were among the people watching the firefighters' efforts to put out the fire. The Dutch communist, Marinus van der Luppe, was arrested for arson. If he was really responsible for the fire, or if he did it all by himself, is doubtful. About nine years later, Hermann Göring allegedly told Franz Halder at a dinner that he had set, um, set this fire himself. The commander of the firefighters in Berlin was dismissed in the following month for providing evidence that su suggested an involvement of the National Socialist and this arson. Whether the National Socialists set the fire themselves or not, this action was a huge boost for their campaign and their agenda. On February 28th, Paul von Hindenburg issued the Reichstag Fire Decree that voided most of the key civil rights of the German people in the Weimar Republic. Under the Weimar Constitution, the Reich's president had the possibility to issue emergency decrees under Article 48, allowing to pass laws without the consent of the parliament. The Reichstag Fire Decree suspended the rights of free speech, the free press, it allowed the government to infringe on the privacy of its people, it also permitted arrests without reasons. The NS movement used this decree to arrest many political opponents before the following election. Up until May 1933, in Prussia alone, more than 100,000 political enemies had been arrested. The prisons were overflowing and first concentration camps were established. This emergency decree is also sometimes described as the Constitution of the Third Reich, which was completed with the Enabling Act in March 1933 that disabled the separation of powers and enabled the establishment of the German dictatorship. Marinus van der Lubbe, who had been arrested for the arson of the Reichstag building, had been found guilty of high treason and arson and was sentenced to death after the NS regime instated a new law allowing people to be sentenced to death even for crimes committed before this law had been instated. Marinus van der Luppe was decapitated on January 10th, 1934. In the Federal Republic of Germany, Marinus van der Luppe was first acquitted of the high treason charge and his death sentence was changed into eight years before his sentence was deemed completely void in the year 2007. Thank you so much for watching.